else we got there? Uh, Accelerate Richmond. Uh, here we have the option to enable wall film. If we click on here, uh, that's the advanced uh, acceleration enrichment. We have, you know, adhere to walls, uh, constants for different uh, load settings, how much of the fuel gets stuck on the wall based on pressure, uh, and then suck from walls based on the pressure and the manifold, how much fuel is actively coming off the cylinder walls. It's all about maintaining that pool of fuel on the uh, walls of the intake manifold. And then we have uh, the so those are the two constants I showed you. Now there's correction factors based on what RPM you're at and what coolant temperature you're at. Uh, I'd love to have this running. If you know how to tune that, I'd really be interested in getting it to work. Uh, I believe it's the way OEMs do acceleration instrument. But for now, I'd be you know pretty happy with just getting some basic uh, TPS dot algorithms working, just based on the rate of change of the throttle position sensor, uh, how much to increase the fuel injector pulse width. That's what we have up here. We also have this in, uh, totally disabled right now, which is a super high threshold for uh, for enabling this. So you have to move the throttle position sensor, uh, the, the the gas pedal, 200, uh, you know, twice the travel of, of, the, of the gas pedal uh, per second, or that equivalent rate. So basically, this number right here just means we have all of acceleration enrichment disabled. Uh, Hopefully once the VE table is ironed out and perfectly smooth, which it actually is pretty close to right now, we'll enable that and have acceleration enrichment working nicely. We'd also like to have uh, D-cell working nicely too. Alright, once we get into extended, not too many menus we use in here, all stuff that we eventually need to get programmed. Uh, mainly just cold advance and then manifold air temperature, timing retard, so if you get you know super high temps in the intake manifold, we can uh, retard the timing, try and save the motor. Uh, and then overboost protection, overrun fuel cut. I uh, haven't really explored these too much. Advanced, we got a uh, really important option right here. This output test mode is really useful. Uh, what you can do is in individually control the coils or injectors. So say you flood the uh, say you flood the motor doing t doing warm up and you got too much pulse width in there and so you just flood the motor. It doesn't start. And you can't start it again because the motor's flooded with fuel. You can just run the coils by themselves and not the injectors, turn the fuel pump off, uh, just you know, plug in a three second dwell or what a millisecond dwell, burn it, run it, bump the starter, cycle the motor over, the motor will fire because of all the fuel in there, uh, and it's not injecting anymore, so eventually it'll fire, and then it'll die out, and the cylinders are back to normal with no more fuel flooding. Or you can just run the coil, the injectors. This was useful before when we uh, found we'd, uh, on a different car, diagnosed you had a uh, uh, clogged injector, we just pulled the injectors out, let them spray into paper towels, saw one wasn't spraying. So, just interesting options to work with here in this output test mode. And tuning menu, uh, we have real-time display, lets you see all your what all your sensors are reading. Again, this is a great time to play with the TPS, make sure the TPS is giving you good readings, Look at quickly look at all your temperature readings. Uh, then we also have a 3D visualization of the fuel map, you can use this a lot. Uh, you can use the arrow keys here, as you can see I'm doing moving this red dot. Normally when the engine's running there will be a little green ball that bounces around that you can chase. And you'll see uh, down here that it shows what RPM you're at when you bump this up and uh, what load site you're at. Now if you hit the, the Q button, a Q on your keyboard, that adds fuel. You'll see how that's going up right now. If you hit W, that takes away fuel. So it's an easy, quick way to make changes to the fuel table and you know look at it all smooth and everything. All right, also in tuning, we have the 3D version of the ignition map, but I don't find this all that helpful. As you can see, there's not, it's hard to, well, at least it's hard for me to see much there. I prefer to use the, the numerical map for ignition. All right, and that about, well, we got a little bit more actually. Uh, there's calibration tables. Uh, you can take your foot off the gas, hit, hit this button, and you find out what the, um, uh, the voltage reading is for uh, no gas pedal from the TBS center at sensor and you can nail the gas 100% wide open throttle get your full throttle count so this is all just sensor calibration stuff same thing same idea uh, for your coolant temperature sensor resistance per temperature stuff you can get from this tech, tech specs PDFs and for a wideband sensor also calibration data 
and uh, I think that's a uh, map sensor stuff like that so but that's uh that's Megatune uh, logging is done over here okay to log and record turn it off save the file it's pretty simple uh, and it's very powerful you can get lots of and if you right click here hit swap to you can get like all these available gauges I almost always switch that that one I just clicked for uh, map to get the, the pressure reading okay and uh, that's all I'm going to show in Megatune. I'll make a different video for Megalog Viewer. Hope this helps.